Over the past year, REIT share prices have crashed even as their cash flows kept on rising. And as a result, they are today priced at their lowest valuations since the great financial crisis. I think that this is a great investment opportunity and I've posted quite a few videos about it on this channel. But don't take it just from me. The best proof that REITs are now undervalued is the fact that their executives are now also making large purchases in the open market. They know best what's the value of their real estate and they are now taking taking advantage of these large discounts to accumulate shares of their own companies. Hey everyone, this is Yossi. I run a small investment firm that specializes in REIT investing. And in today's video, I'm gonna to talk to you about five REITs that have had major insider purchases in the recent month. But before I get into it, could you please do me a huge favor and like this video, really helped me a lot to grow this channel. And also make sure to subscribe to be notified as soon as we post a new investment idea on the channel. So the first read that I want to discuss here is called Agri Realty, ticker symbol ADC. This is one of my favorite rates that specializes in net lease properties. In case you're not familiar with net leases, these are essentially single tenant freestanding properties that are typically service oriented. Good examples would include Taco Bell fast food restaurants, Dollar General grocery stores, or even CVS pharmacies. Already back in my private equity days, these were some of my favorite property investments because their leases are structured in a way that's very favorable to the landlord. Typically, the lease term will be really long at over 10 years. The lease will also typically include automatic rent hikes of 1 to 2% per year, which may not seem much, but results in very consistent and predictable growth that really adds up over time because even if you go into a recession, your rents are preset and set for growth. And then finally, something unique to net leases is also that typically the tenant is responsible for all the property expenses, including even the maintenance of the property. As such, the cash flows of net lease properties are very defensive and Agri Realty takes this a step further by only focusing on class A net lease properties. Its portfolio is arguably the best in its entire peer group, even better than that of Realty Income, which is typically considered to be the gold standard of net lease rates. Agri Realty then pairs this very defensive portfolio with a fortress balance sheet that has low debt and no debt maturities for many years to come. Therefore, Agro Realty is well positioned to keep earning steady cash flow for many years to come. But despite that, it wasn't immune to the recent crash and share price has dropped very significantly. This has caught the attention of many insiders of the company who have bought the dip very aggressively. Over the past few months, we've seen insiders buy over 7 million worth of shares, which is the most of any net lease rates. Priced at around 13 times FFO and offering a 5.5% dividend yield, we estimate that the company has roughly 30% upside to a fair value target. That's very compelling coming from such a defensive rate. And for this reason, we have also bought the dip for a retirement portfolio at High Yield Landlord, which is my rate newsletter. By the way, in case you want to access my entire portfolio, feel free to join my newsletter for two week free trial. I'll put a link to it somewhere in the description of this video. Then the second read I want to discuss here is called Safe Hold Ticker Symbol ASFE. This is the only read that specializes in ground lease investments. A ground lease is a land investment that's typically leased to a tenant for a very long duration of up to 99 years. This then allows the tenant to build some improvements on top of the land and to be in control of it for a very long period of time. Then when the lease expires, all these improvements revert back to the landowner, so the ground lease investor at no additional cost. And during the lease term, the ground lease investor also of course gets some ground rents to earn some yield during the lease period. This rent payment is typically very safe in the case of ground leases because if your tenant fails to pay its rent, it will lose the property which would revert back to the ground lease owner. As such, a ground lease can be a great investment because you get a very defensive rent that's steadily growing according to the lease agreement and then when the lease expires, you get the property free of charge. However, because these are so safe, the initial yield will also typically be very low and the lease escalations will also be limited. One consequence of this is that ground leases are very sensitive to movements in interest rates. And so when interest rates surged, safe hold saw its share price crashed to its lowest valuation in many years. But this hasn't discouraged the CEO of the company who recently made a $1.4 million investment in the open market and that's despite already having about $40 million worth of shares of skin in the game. 
I agree with the CEO that safe hold is today heavily discounted and presents significant upside potential, especially if you agree with me that interest rates are likely to come back down in the coming years. Then the third read that has had a lot of insider buys lately is called American Asset Trust, ticker symbol AAT. This is a smaller and lesser known read that owns a diversified portfolio of offices, strip centers and apartment communities, mainly on the West Coast and Hawaii. This trade has not really been on our radar in the past because it owns a diversified portfolio focusing on many property sectors, which is something that I typically don't like because I prefer my rates to specialize in one specific sector and become an expert in it. And then secondly, the REIT also owns a lot of office properties, which is something I'm trying to stay away from. But recently, the company CEO made a $17 million investment in the shares of the company, and that's despite already having $240 million of his skin in the game. That caught my attention and so I took a closer look to see if this would be something worth considering for my portfolio. I found out here that the valuation of the company was severely discounted and opportunistic. However, the office properties are really concerning. Not all of them are class A, they also own some class B and C properties with very low occupancy rates. I think that these properties present significant risks and therefore the valuation is low for a reason. I've added the company on my watch list, but I just don't see the point of investing it today when you could buy shares of other higher quality REITs at similar values. Valuations. Then the fourth read of this list is Unity Group, ticker symbol UNIT. This is an infrastructure read that we've discussed previously on this channel. I'll link it somewhere in the description of this video, so I'll keep this relatively short. It owns a portfolio of fiber networks and its valuation is one of the lowest in the entire REIT sector, trading at just four times its cash flow. The reason why it's priced at such a low valuation is because the REIT has quite a bit of debt and it's heavily concentrated on one specific tenant that's asking for rent cuts. Even then, the CEO of the company appears to be very confident as he recently made a $1 million purchase in the open market. I agree that this is a very compelling opportunity for investors who have a higher tolerance for risk as it could present 100 to 200 percent upside potential in a bull case scenario. And then the fifth read with major insider buys is called Mid America Apartment Communities, ticker symbol MAA. This is one of the highest quality apartment rates, owning a portfolio of mostly class A properties in rapidly growing Sunbelt markets. Its balance sheet is also one of the strongest in this sector with a low LTV of around 25%, well staggered maturities, and the management is very well aligned with shareholders, more than proven itself, and having been able to outperform the rest of the market over the past decades. But despite all of these great attributes, its shares have crashed with the rest of the REIT market and have now become quite opportunistic. This recently led some insiders to buy about 1 million worth of shares of the company. I agree that the valuation of the company is today very opportunistic, but even then I'm not buying it because I slightly prefer one of its close peers that owns more class B properties that should be better protected from all the new supply that will soon hit the market. Altogether, these five REITs have had about 30 million worth of insider purchases in recent months. That just shows you how low valuations have become, with some REITs now trading at just 50 cents on the dollar. If I offered you the opportunity to buy good real estate at 50 cents on the dollar, you'd probably jump on the opportunity. But somehow, because REITs are publicly traded, most investors are failing to see this opportunity, but their insiders sure aren't. They are taking advantage of this recent crash to accumulate large positions, and that's also what I'm doing. Now, if you want to access my entire holdings as well as my transactions in real time, feel free to join my REIT newsletter, High Yield Landlord, for a two week free trial. I'll put a link to it somewhere in the description of this video. And otherwise, once more, if you could please like the video, that really helped me a lot to grow this channel. I really appreciate all your support and to my next one. Bye-bye.